There are great Weber accessories for the Weber kettle that you can also use for the blackjack kettle. So I'm going to show you. So stick around. Now here's the cooking grate that comes with the blackjack. It's 21 and a half inches long. Standard. Same thing as the Weber kettle. So the first accessory I'm going to show you is one that comes in handy a lot for Weber owners are their charcoal baskets. This is the Weber charcoal basket. I love it. I like to use it a lot. Now you'll see that it also fits and the blackjack. Pretty good fit. You're going to do indirect cooking like that. We're just going to use one. However side you're going to cook. So, that's that. And if you're going to go light up both sides to indirect cooking, go put your cooking grate, your charcoal is going to be lit or there or your lump. And then if you're going to put spare ribs, whatever you're going to do, a brisket, put it right there in the middle. Now eventually, whenever you're doing, if you're going to be doing indirect cooking, your lump or your briquettes are going to eventually die out, so you have to go and refill it, which makes it kind of hard with this, so then you got to go take the cooking grate off. You know, if you want to go and add more briquettes, wood chunks, whatever, you know, you have to take it off. So, Weber, they have their hinge cooking grates. Uh, this is Weber's hinge cooking grates. You see, easy access to get to fill up your charcoal or your lump. Put wood chunks, wood chips. Makes it a lot easier. So if you don't own a Weber kettle, you know you might not have these. So this would be a good investment to get right here. It'll help out a lot if you're going to do extended cooks, you know, three, four, five, six hours, even longer if you're doing a brisket cook. And yeah, you can also do the steak method, minion method, however you want to call it, whatever you want to do. But if you're going to be using the charcoal baskets for extended time, then these hinged grates just make it a lot easier to go and refill up your lump or your briquettes. All right, another great accessory that you can use in the blackjack kettle is the Vortex. Now, this is a knockoff, not an original. See, so it has here a clip to hang it up when you're done. But I've used this and have had no issues with it. It works fine. You'll see that it'll fit. And the blackjack, just like that. You'll have you know your briquettes or your lump right in the middle inside the vortex. And then go ahead and apply whatever you're going to be cooking. Then you'll apply a wood chunk right here for smoke. And you know some people they'll use a vortex with it like this, and they're cooking great. You know it's not. So then it won't burn up or anything, you know, it'll be fine right here because it's going to be hot right here in the middle. But Weber, it's also come out with other grates that you can use when you use the Vortex. Right, here's the cooking grate for the Vortex use. And I'll show you what makes it a lot easier. Use the middle. Pops out. And there you go. Easy access to the vortex. Let's say you want to keep going, you want to keep the cook going, you know, you're just laying layers one after another of chicken. Easy access to refill. And you also flip around and do it this way. Some people have done whole chicken standing up this way, beer cans. You know, it's. And. But the vortex, if you. Want to use it other ways too. People have used it for indirect cooking. You know, they've gone, placed all their briquettes, thumbs, whatever they're using, and then they've cooked on this side for indirect cooking. 
So there's many ways that you can do it. You can also do like a steak method, have your briquettes around it and have let's say your whole chicken in there and cook that way. Many things you can do with this have to have. I enjoy it. That's something for you to think about if you don't have one. The last accessory I want to show you is one that I wished that I mean would have fit but it is the rotisserie. I love this rotisserie. I love using it. I mean, if you never owned a rotisserie, I say purchase one. And you may look at this and think, well, you know, from your point of view, it does fit. But here in this area right here is where it doesn't fit. It doesn't sit properly. And this is one of the reasons why it doesn't sit properly is right here where the hinges it sticks out so it doesn't the bottom of the rotisserie doesn't sit flush with the uh, kettle so it lands on here which makes it uneven which, uh, I mean, if you want, you can still cook on it. But if you're anal about things, you may not like it because it's not going to sit flush. And you say, well, you can't control temps because that's just more another way for air to get in. So make it harder to control temps. And, you know, I understand that. That's something that, you know, I was thinking too. So that's kind of one of the reasons why it's like, I wish it would have worked better, you know. But hey, I could still give it a shot, right? Give it a try and see how it goes. So just looking at it, I wish it sit, was able to sit flush. Because the way it looks at it, it looks like it would sit flush with it. And then the way to close it is you would have to remove the top lid from the hinge and then use it, you know, on top. But I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll... I'll give it a shot and see how it goes, you know, anyways, I mean, I can cook it, you know, over 300, the whole chicken. But, let's just kind of give you a look on, see how to look with the rotisserie on there. Those are a few accessories that you can use for your blackjack kittle. So go out and check them out, you can purchase them, you know, on Amazon, that's where I've gotten all those accessories from, Amazon. But, you know, they'll help you out, especially if the blackjack is the only kettle that you have. It can help you out on your cooking. You know, uh, those hinges grates, cooking grates, those are helpful if you're gonna do long cooks. The charcoal baskets, they help whenever you're gonna be doing direct cooking and also indirect cooking. They work fantastic. I use them a lot for that. You can use them to sear also if you're into doing that on steaks. You know, the Vortex, you know, you, if you want to go purchase the original Vortex, go ahead. I got the one that I got, you know, cheaper price. To me, it does fantastic. have no issues at all with that. But, I mean, these are just accessories that you can use for the blackjack kettle. You know, if you decide that you need accessories to help you out, make it a little bit easier to cook. Because the moment it is what it is, what we got with the blackjack, what it comes with it, you know, uh, the cooking grates, you know, fantastic. But, you know, if you need to access your charcoal, you're going to have to remove the cooking grate. And then you need to refill up on briquettes or lump, wood chunks, wood chips. You know, you have to do that with those cooking grates with the hinges. Just makes it a lot easier. Just flip it. And then that's it. But this is give you an idea of what you can do with the blackjack kettle. You know, we'll see if Okuma Joe's, if they're going to go down that line with uh, what Weber has done for their accessories and see if Oklahoma comes out with the hinge cooking grate and see if they come out with some charcoal baskets for the blackjack. Any other accessories, maybe your rotisserie for that, you know. But we'll see. You know, anything's possible, right? Anything's possible. But if you're fine, content with the way the blackjack is, then it's all gravy. Go ahead and cook on it. That's what it's for, right? Just grill. 
but there's some people who like accessories and they like to add to it and improves on their cooking nothing wrong with that either right it's your money right you spend it how you want to spend it but that's pretty much it i hope this was informative on you and to learn what you can use for the backtrack kettle well then to the next video i'll smoke on everyone